Hi everyone, welcome back to the cottage. We are canning some beef stew today. We're going to be canning them in quart jars. You can do it in pints, it doesn't matter. You're going to need enough vegetables and meat to fill up your jars. We've got potatoes, carrots, onions, and some celery. Let's get started! got our meat here and we're going to cube it into one inch pieces. You're going to want to cut all the fatty pieces off, the ribbing, the fat that's like this that's going through it, and start your boiling water so that you have everything ready to go and you can get canning. We get ready to do beef, processed beef stew. So I'm filling my pressure canner up with water enough so it won't go empty one while it's pressure can while it's canning in quart jars for an hour and a half. So when I'm filling it up about probably a third full, that would last. I'm also filling my stock pot up with water, and I'm going to turn it on also and let it heat up. That way I'll have hot water to add to my quart jars when I get the meat and the vegetables in it ready to go. Turn the water off, put the canner on the stove. Put it on high, and that one on high. Wait till they're warming up. In which case, by the time I get these filled up, that should be about ready, heat enough to start putting them in the jars. And with that, let's begin. Main idea is just make it uniform so that they're all about the same size because it's gonna it'll take pieces longer to finish. So you want it all done at about the same time. Take. You can use your, your funnel, but with large whites right now, I really don't need it because it's easier to get my stuff in. I usually use that when I'm putting the water in. And I take these and I fill them up. Oh, too much meat. You get about level up. Keep again. Got that much meat in each one. Because you still got to put the onions, potatoes, peas, carrots, and celery in them. So you got to get enough room for everything. enough meat to do six quarts. Put that out of the way. Next week we will add potatoes to the jars. This, if you want to use a funnel, you can. 
Just grab a cup, grab you a handful, put them in there, about like that. And move on to the next jar. I keep potatoes in water, that way they don't brown on you. If you sit too long, they'll start turning brownish and you don't look as pretty. So you keep them going until you fill them up. Carrots. I usually put, do the beef, potatoes, carrots, then the, the, the onions, pea, the celery, because these are the bulky things that take up most of the room. You add about what you like. If you like more carrots than you do potatoes, then you add more carrots than you do potatoes, vice versa with celery. Since we're not real big on celery, there'll be a little, only a little bit in each jar. Good to can with helpers. Very. How'd you learn to can, William? My mother in law helped, taught me how to can. You know, me, we've been doing it since basically the girls were three years old. So they started when they were young. one then I'll go back behind and even it out I might have to make sure I have enough for each one. Now I'm having my celery to my jars. Um, and I'm gonna be a little short. There are only three jars getting celery. Four jars. Next, my helper is preparing the peas. We're gonna what we're gonna do is put them in a strainer and dip them in hot water so sort of blanch them real quick so you don't put frozen peas in a a jar of hot water and then put it in a canner. It might cause it to explode and we don't want that to break the jars of the canner and waste a whole meal. And uh, the jars of that too. So. Be a mess, be a mess.
careful not to burn, don't burn your hands. Just to wait for that. And now since she, when she's done with that, we add about a handful to each jar to start off with. Uh, you, don't have, you don't have to add peas, but we kind of like peas in our stew, so we add them. And basically, you can add any vegetable you want, put whatever you want in it. You could add tomato paste uh, for flavoring, for the, if, you like your, if you like your stew to be good. more of a tomato based. If not, you don't have to. And we usually don't. Like that. Now you're ready for the water to go in, and you fill the water up about a half inch. Now that the jars are filled with beef, potatoes, carrots, onions, and pepper, and the celery, and all that good stuff, it's time to season the jar. Season, put the season in. And then the seasoning is up to you how much you what you. But at least one teaspoon of salt that goes in each jar. From that. I like putting pepper, a couple spins in my grinder, a little bit of garlic, yep, for flavoring, and a little bit of onion powder. Even though onion's already in there, I still like putting onion powder. And from there, you add water, you get the one inch headspace, which is the bottom ring of the jar, and then you put the lid on it, well, you wipe it, you Put the water in. I use my trusty little spoon to get the air bubbles out. Wipe the lid. Put the lid, the ring, the top piece on it, and put a ring on it. And I sit it in my hot canter, my boiling water canter, which is ready to put in now, as we're ready to go. So I'm gonna bring my water over here. You go ahead and season my bring the water. That is enough garlic. Pardon me. You get on that side of the pen. You can still see why you know, I put water in on it. Get my little. I mean, the uh, funnel. Funnel goes on top. This is where I usually definitely use my funnel because I don't like spilling water everywhere. In this hot water, it kind of hurts. And I get angry at myself for doing something silly. I like to do it just, just below that ring, that way it gives it room for growth. When it, fit, when it starts canning, it will fill up more water and pressure more because of the liquid from the beef. But right now, I move things around in there to get the air bubbles out. Then my paper towel. I had a paper towel. Pardon me. <laughs> Using your paper towel, you wipe off the rim, put the lid on it, ring. Then you take your bottle ho bottle holder, which you, I got I got mine at Walmart. Take it, and you put it in the hot water, and I put it on the side wrong ways. I like having. Mine turned a certain way, which the lid goes on, arrow, arrow matches arrow, and I put my little stopper in the back. So if it drips, it doesn't drip over the sides. That's the reason I do that. I tried several different directions. Oops. And then I bought my daughter. Cause she's doing That's my job. Because she's doing mine. You to fill that one up. Yes, I did. You feel? I'll, I'll finish. I'll do that. You finish. Okay. Okay. Speed the process up. Air bubbles, paper towel, lid, ring. Simple as that. I don't recommend using your bare hands while putting these in because the water is really hot and it will burn you. So, what's the funniest canning memory you guys have? Forgot a falling of the uh, can of apples. 
This time it'll be an hour and a half, unlike the pints, which is an hour and 15 minutes. And this will definitely hold seven quarts that I've done this many, many times, and I know for a fact. I'm not sure. I thought I had more, my, my can would hold more pints than those. But apparently it only holds nine. And this is a six. And that's all I have. Now I put the lid on. Now, as you can see, Put my lid on. You got a V here on the lid. It'll you get it on there. It sits down, and you turn it. And it's signs this feel that you handle it together. And then you put your 10 pound weight on top, and you turn the heat back on. And it's always now we wait till it starts jiggling. Then you set your timer for an hour and a half. And you sit and wait until it's done, and you take it back off the heat. So why do you? How do you know that's ten pounds? When I bought it, it came with it. Um, in the booklet, it tells you how much each part of it weighs. This part alone is five pounds. When you add this one, it that makes it ten pounds. And there's another one you, you add to the top of that to make it fifteen pounds. Sorry about that. This one, the jiggling lets off all the excess steam pressure to keep it at 10 pounds so it doesn't build up. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us on another canning adventure. We'll see you, see you next time at the cottage. Try it again. Beef stew, take one. <laughs>